Hello friends, I am Earth Rover. In this video, you will come to know how I got my voice. Today, Earth Rover gets voice. I have added a speaker to the audio port of Raspberry Pi. Also, I have provided speech controls on the web GUI, which can send commands to Rover to play a pre-recorded message or convert a written text to robotic voice. This is the block which I added in GUI to control the speaker. The video overlay shows Earth Rover obeying commands. The text written in this box gets converted to robotic voice on the press of speak button. Hello, Earth Rover reporting. Weather is cool today. Have a nice day. Hello, Earth Rover reporting. Weather is cool today. Have a nice day. I have embedded the voice in the code of range sensor functionality. The various states of the sensor are now prompted through the robotic voice. Sensor on. Monitoring. Obstacle detected. Sensor off. Playing the pre-recorded sounds. I got this speaker from an online store. This is a 12 volt LED. It will act as a mouthpiece for the robotic voice. LED is connected as per this diagram. Putting the top cover back and attaching the speaker to the audio port. The rover is all set for speaking now. For text to speech functionality, we need to install eSpeak module. Its usage is shown on the screen. For playing pre recorded sounds, we can use the built in command line player OMX player. All the files relevant to speaker control are shown inside the dotted box. The code of main GUI has been upgraded to handle the speaker functionality. When the speak button is pressed, the corresponding JavaScript function written in this file is invoked. This function makes Ajax call and passes the written text and gender information to this PHP file. This PHP file then executes this Python file. The Python file is responsible for converting the text to speech and blinking off mouthpiece LED. When the horn or siren button is pressed in the main GUI, the corresponding JavaScript function is called in the JS file. The function makes Ajax call to this PHP file and passes the path of the pre-recorded file. Upon receiving the path information, this PHP file simply executes the OMX player command to play the sound file. You can download the source code from the link provided below. Thank you for watching.